so I'm going to be doing a look today using this new Ilia makeup set that I bought and this is such an adorable kit. It comes with four products, two of which are full size, two are sample size, and then you get this little makeup pouch, which I just love. I think it's so unique. It's flexible silicone, so it has a nice soft touch feel to it. And I just love this beautiful kind of dusty rose color that it's in. I personally, I hoard makeup bags. I have so many of them, but I always seem to find a use for them, especially when I'm traveling. So I think this one's going to be really nice, especially maybe for those products that I think could potentially explode or leak in some way. I think um, I would like to have them in this rather than a cloth pouch. So I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of that. So as for the four products, the first one that comes in the pouch is this liquid light serum highlighter and this is a full size version that you get. The second one is also full size and this is the Ilia Multi Stick and this comes in the shade Ladybird, which I think is so beautiful. It's so universal. It's kind of like a dusty peachy rose color. So I really think that this is perfect for everyday use. You can build it up and I love that it's multi-purpose. So I'm going to be using this on my cheeks and on my eyes today for this look. The next product that comes in this pouch is the Limitless Lash Mascara. So this one is a sample size version, which I think is really great for traveling or just throwing in your purse because I do have the full size version and it's kind of weighty, which is really nice. The packaging is super high quality, but I could see how having this um, sample version might be better for travel. I will say that I was a little bit disappointed with just how small it was in the pouch, but I'm still happy with my purchase and um, it's definitely going to get a lot of use. But for the look, I'm going to be using my full size one since I already have that open. So the last product that we have in this pouch, I am so excited about. It is called the Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil and this is a new product for Ilia and they actually first launched it in this makeup kit so if you didn't purchase this you'd have to wait for the full range and full size versions to be available this is in the shade tahiti this formula is so amazing i'm so excited that Ilia finally came out with a lip oil because it truly it feels so nice on the lips it's not sticky at all it feels very lightweight and it actually is moisturizing for a really long time. Okay, so let's get into the look. So I've already prepped and primed my face. I've also put on foundation and concealer. If you want to know what I used for um, those products, I'll be listing them below. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna use is the multi stick. And so I've played around with a couple ways of applying this, but I found that the most effective way is to just kind of Put it on my face where I want it and then go back in with a stippling brush and just kind of blend it out and make it look a little bit more natural. So I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks, kind of right under my cheekbone and then focus a little bit more on the apples of my cheeks. I know it looks a little crazy right now. And then I'm going to go in with my stippling brush and just using circular motions just kind of blend it out the other thing that i do sometimes is i'll use my finger first and just kind of blend it like this because sometimes with these bombs or sorry not bombs um these kind of stick formulas they can be a little bit stiffer and harder to work with so i really just like getting the placement first and then I can go in and blend it out and make it look a lot more natural. I think it gives just a really nice kind of healthy glow to the skin. And so now I'm also going to use this on my eyes. So I'm going to try two different methods um, just so we can see kind of the different ways you can apply this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually dip my stippling brush into the stick right here and just get a little bit on here. And then 
I'm going to just wash it over my eye. I don't really mind that this is kind of a larger brush just because I'm really just trying to get some nice coverage on here. So the next application that I'm going to try is just um, applying it to my finger like this. And as you can see, I think because my finger is warm, it's already, I'm getting a lot more product on my finger than I did when I used the brush. So I think this is going to make for a little bit more of a bolder look, but also more precise placement to start. So then I'm just going to take my finger and kind of just tap it onto my eyelid. Again, not being precise at all. I think I might actually prefer that method to going right for the brush first. So this way I can get the right amount of product that I want on my lids. And then I can always go back in with the brush and just kind of fluff it out a little bit. So I actually really like that. I think it looks really natural and again, just kind of ties everything together. So the next product that I'm gonna use is this liquid light highlighter and I'm not going to open this full size version because I already have this mini that I've been using. I think I got this from Sephora. I will just say that this one can get a little bit messy and I don't know if it's just the sample version but I found that um, I'm just going to shake it up. I found that it a lot of it kind of shoots out when I try to use this little pump. So I'm just going to apply a little bit to the back of my hand. This, yeah, so see, like, you kind of get a lot of product, but I guess that's okay. So if I put it on the back of my hand, then if I take a sponge and just dip it into the product like this and apply it wherever you want it. So I'm just going to go on my cheekbones. Yeah, so it's, ooh, I kind of used a lot there, but you can see it's just a really gorgeous shimmer that you get with this. So I've tried applying this a couple different ways. I found that if I use my fingers, it kind of gets a little splotchy and it's not as precise as far as um, placing it kind of where I want it. It also dries down pretty quickly, even though it's a gel consistency. So I really feel like having this damp sponge helps kind of keep it moist. It is slightly chunky, or at least you can definitely see some little flecks of glitter when it dries down, which unlike the RMS um, Illuminator, that is the cream highlighter, that one is the most natural that I've ever been able to get um, with a highlighter. So I would say if you're going for a very natural look, maybe don't use this one, but if you just want a nice glow, you can definitely achieve that look with this. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of setting powder on just to kind of set everything together and just blend it in a little bit better. And I don't have a setting powder from Ilia, but I'm gonna be using the Thrive Cosmetics setting powder. Um, and this is a loose setting powder. My face tends to get a little bit more oily throughout the day when I'm wearing makeup. I just like to start out with a little bit more of a matte look. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to apply mascara. And like I said, I'm going to be using my full size version of the Ilia just because I already have it open and I've been using it for a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. And I'm using kind of back and forth motions and then just blinking onto the mascara. I love this mascara. So there's the difference between mascara and no mascara. And I really love what it does to my lashes. I think that it adds volume, it curls, and it's just really amazing for a clean beauty mascara. So this is a really amazing option. The other thing that I love about this mascara is that it washes off so easily. So it stays on throughout the day, but then when you want to take it off at night, it will actually come off because I, oops, I got some on my eye. 
Literally the worst thing is when you want to take your makeup off and it is just being so stubborn and leaves you with raccoon eyes. So now we finally get to put on this amazing lip oil, which I am so excited about. Okay. So it just comes with your standard kind of doe foot applicator and it is so nice on the lips. So there's the lip oil and I love it so much. Like I said, it's super lightweight. It's not um, sticky at all. It's kind of slick, but not in the way that would bother you at all. It's just really the perfect formula. And I think the color is really great too. I think it definitely works well with the balm. It kind of helps to tie everything together. So I love it so much. Definitely check out this set. I think you'll really love all the products from it.